This pattern right here was literally created in seconds and by using an app here in Canva. Now, if we come over to the app section here in Canva, the app in question is called Patterned AI. So we can find that here in the app section by typing that in the search bar. Then if we click on here, it's going to give you some information. So you can create seamless pattern creations made easy with AI. Now, if you want to use this, you can click on use in existing design or use in new. Now, I already have this tab open just here. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how to use this. Now, if you already have a design open or a canvas open, just like this, we can also come over to the app section just here. Then we can type in the search bar pattern and it's going to bring up the patterned AI. Then if you click on there, it's going to be this one just here. And again, if we click on it again, this is where we can use it. Now we can actually create the patterns just from AI by describing the elements or colors that we want in the background here. But for this example, we're going to create our own with elements. So if we click on create just here, this is where we're going to be able to design. Now let's go on to this tab just here because you can use any elements that you have. You could use the Canva elements or your own uploaded elements as well. Now to use these elements, you simply want to put them on your canvas first like this. Right now we have a few different flowers and a heart. Now what we can do is drag our elements or upload our elements here directly in the app or if we just click on the elements which are on the canvas is going to put that in here. So if we click on the heart, we can now start creating our pattern. Now right here is where we can reset this. So if we click on there, it goes back to nothing. So let's click on the heart again. We can undo and redo as well. We have a few different pattern styles which we're going to take a look at as well. This is going to be the preview of your pattern that you create just here. Then we can also zoom in, scroll horizontally or scroll vertically as well. So let's go ahead and create a little pattern. So I have this heart just here. We are going to center that. I think that was already centered. We can then put one of these flowers on there as well. So if we click on this flower on the canvas, it's going to put it in. We can also enlarge and make smaller these elements by dragging on them like that. If we want to duplicate this in the pattern, we can simply click on the duplicate button just there. Or if we want to delete this, we can click on the delete. Now, if we re-click on one of these elements and go to the three dots, we can flip these as well and move to the front and move to the back. Now, what we're going to do is just enlarge this ever so slightly and put it in the corner. We're also going to copy this and put it in the other corner. Then let's go ahead and use one of these flowers as well. So if we click on there, it's going to put it on the canvas. We can make smaller. Let's make it round about the same size as that other flower, just like that. And then let's move this one up into this corner. Let's move this one down a little bit like so. And let's duplicate this one as well. So let's bring this down into the corner and then we could duplicate some hearts. Now, if we start looking here at the preview, we can see what this pattern is going to look like. Now, let's go ahead and put a couple of hearts on here as well. So we're going to duplicate this and make smaller. And let's just put that underneath. Let's make that one as well and put that one up here to round about there. Let's move that down a little bit like so. Let's duplicate this again and put that in the left. And let's duplicate this one and put it in the right. So as we can see, it's very easy to add your own elements and create a base pattern just here. And now if we scroll down, we can see what this is going to look like. Now we do have a couple of different patterns as well. So this is the first one. This is what it would look like. If we click onto the second one, that's what this one would look like. And if we click onto the third one, that's what this one would look like as well. 
Now we can also change the background color to any color that we want by choosing the color on this bar or in this color palette. And we can also put the hex color code in here as well. For this example, let's keep this black. So that's what it's going to look like just there. And we can also zoom in. So if we zoom in on this, it's going to change the pattern. And let's just put that back at round about zero. So let's just put it in there like so. Maybe not zero. Let's put a five or a one. Let's bring that back down actually. Let's just have it round about there. We can also scroll horizontally like so and also vertically like that. Now let's go ahead and actually put this on the normal pattern like so. In fact, actually quite like this one. So let's put that there. Then if we want to add this to the design, let's add a new page like so. Click on add to design and there we go. Now right off the bat, you can see it doesn't quite look right, but this is now an image. So what we can do is just go onto the edges of the image like this and we can drag that in. Then we could do that on that side as well, like that. We can then drag on this to make that pattern bigger and we could move that to like so. So that's just how easy it is to create patterns. Now, once you've created your pattern just like this, we can't actually change this. So this is no longer editable. So if you wanted to change the background color of this, what we'd want to do is come up to download just here, download as a PNG. So let's do page number three. We're going to click download. Then what we can do is re-upload this back up into Canva. Let's open a new canvas like that as well. But we can upload this back into Canva. Then what we can do is just remove the background of this image. So now if we put that back onto the canvas like this, then if we come up to edit photo, which is just here, we can then use the background remover. Now this is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, you can't actually use this. But you can use something like Clip Drops Background Remover. Now what I'll do is link this down in the description. Then all we have to do is take our pattern, drop that in like that, click on Remove Background, click on Downscale and Continue, and then this is going to remove that background just like that and we can preview what it used to look like and now what it looks like with that background removed then all we have to do is re-download that then we can bring this back over to canva upload it into canva open a new page then as we can see we now have our pattern with no background which will allow us to change the background color so now if we click on the background, we could change this to any color that we want. We could do yellow. We could do a purple. We could then enlarge this pattern like so. And now we have our pattern. So as you can see, this patterned AI app, which is just here, does a pretty good job at creating patterns. So come through, check it out and have a little play with it. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.